It's that boy Fred, host of FanView Podcast. Tune in to the NOTN app. We days, 3.30 for the FanView Podcast. Go to NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com to watch more episodes of FanView Podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch. This is Coach Nat of NXT Training, and you're tuning in to FanView Podcast. Like, I want not just our coaches, our parents, our athletes to understand the di- because you understand the difference in working and working properly. Because you can work hard and be working wrong. I heard Coach Bryce say that, and it stuck yeah. with me. And like me and me and a brother of mine, we always talk about how it's better to not even receive training than to develop, get bad training and develop bad habits. I agree. So we have to, just like we vet our doctors, just like we vet the restaurants we go to, we have to vet the people that's pouring into our kids. Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. Fan View Podcast, you did. Y'all know I'm that boy, Fred. Coach Hurricane Hen, back at it again. We back at it again, baby. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> I ain't about to compete you with that again. <laughs> I trademarked it, baby. Of course, man. You know what? I, I, I leave it all to you. Listen, everybody, get subscribed. Get locked in. Fan View Podcast if you're on IG. Fan View Podcast if you're on TikTok. Fan View Podcast if you're on YouTube. Fan View Podcast if you're on Facebook. We still Fan View NOLA. If you're on X, formerly known as Twitter. We got another special guest in the building, NXT Training, human perform specialist. Let me mute my phone. Coach Nate Nunnery. I got it right. You got it right. There we go. In the building, full effect. It's been a long time coming, man. I've been following your, your training and your regimens, man, for some time now, man. I just figured but it's been about that time we reach out and sit down and, and talk to you about what you do. And get your and get your insight on what's going on in the world of sports, particularly football, and a lot of these young athletes, man. But we'd like to start our podcast off right. We want to talk about your journey. What got you here? What got you involved in the training? So tell everybody about you and how you got involved in what you do. Okay. Well, like you say, my name is Nathaniel Nunnery. I'm a human human performance specialist. Um, I have a background in nursing. I played football. Baseball, ran track when I was younger. What schools? Um, I went to school at LC Forche. So I'm 42 years old. I graduated in 2000. So it's been a, been a, been a little while, you know what I mean. But uh, our school now is Willow High School, Lusher. Um, I actually went to that middle school, and uh, they demolished our well, not demolished. They did away with our high school, and now is mm-hmm. Willow High now. So uh, LC Forche. Right. Um. So I went to Saint Aug first, but but before. Going to Forche, I was at St. Aug for a couple of months and transferred over. Um, I'm from Uptown, New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Played for Harrell Park um, all the way up before I got to high school. So from eight years old to, you know, my ninth grade year, 10th right. grade year in high school. Um, so like you see how we got here, um, I was going to school for nursing. This is after Hurricane Katrina. Going to school for nursing and stuff like that. And uh, when it came time to take the exam, um, just thinking about whether if I wanted to be inside all day and me being from New Orleans, knowing a lot of the individuals that are getting in trouble, knowing the individuals that's doing some of the troublemaking, but knowing that these are not bad individuals. Right. They just need the proper guidance, you know what I mean? And, uh, right. you know, from the city, sports are big in our, in our community, you know what I mean? So me knowing all the muscles in the body, individuals knowing me for playing sports in the city and I knowing I can help the individual young people. Right. So I decided to go where I started at Harrell Park, working with some of the young athletes and showing them how to develop their speed, develop their strength. What are some of the young kids that you started working with when you were doing that time? Oh, so it was in 2015, like Alden Clark, uh, some of the guys, young athletes that played for Carr and uh, mm-hmm. Landry Walker, those guys that won a championship on the West Bank. Uh, Alden Clark, the quarterback for Carr, Warren Newman, the wide receiver, Santee Marshall, the running back. 
um, um, Keaton Thompson Keaton. for uh, Landry Walker, Mike Lee, Tevin Bush, um, uh, Devontae Jason, Corian Harris, you know, Wap and Corian. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. They both went to Kansas. Yeah, they both went to Kansas. Well, I think Wap went to Mississippi State. Wap yeah, yeah. yeah. went to Mississippi State. But they, they all committed to Kansas yeah. initially. Yeah. On their yeah. little visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamar yeah. Chase, too. Jamar Chase, Aaron Brule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all, all those guys were, were a part of that beginning of NXT, Er Smith Jr., mm-hmm. Christian Fulton, yeah, um, Lance Legendre, Shy Clayton, um, Shy Clayton went yeah. to on um, Warren uh, Easton, yeah, went to Warren Easton, yeah, 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 two, yeah, two lane now, yeah, Lee the Cotter originally, yeah, um, um, my goodness, it's a lot of the top players, not even just the top players, a lot of the players that you seen get scholarships come from here from that 2015 to. About 19 era in high school, they, they came from NXT. Yeah. yeah. So, like they say, they got right now 113 players from Louisiana NFL. 13 work with us. Yeah. So it's about 10 percent, brother. 10 percent. Yeah. Well, that's, that, that's a massive amount. <laughs> yeah. Numbers don't lie. No, no, no. They stick. They stick to it. Yeah. So, um, just um, but just about not the just being a pro aspect, being able to. Put yourself in a position to uplift your family, your community. You know what I mean. Um, the scholarships, not not having to pay for college scholarships. You know what I mean. College tuition. You know what I'm saying. A like fifty thousand dollars a year scholarship, and they getting ten of them. That's five hundred thousand dollars a year. You know what I'm saying. And so to be able to get to that level, like you know, us coming up, yep. we didn't have the platforms to showcase our talent. You know, when yep. when I was coming out. I was in a magazine for best of the rest, but I'm looking at people at number one. I'm looking at Carson Palmer at number one, different guys like that. I'm like, how do you get up there? But they've been going to camps and stuff like that. We didn't have that type of availability here. We just started getting it like in 2000, what, 13, 14? Right, with yeah. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard Fournette. And Leonard Fournette, yeah. Guys, you know what I'm saying? It's we so didn't have that. We had Friday Night Lights. You see what I'm saying? We had Daniels. So, the rest is so. Yeah, facts, facts, <laughs> facts. facts. And, 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 and that was a, a big part of our exposure. But it wasn't enough, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, yeah, we 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 got the the local schools, but we had we have talent, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, initially, it was the start of bringing showing the world that Louisiana football is top tier. You know, they talk about Georgia, Florida, Texas, California. You know what I mean? But when you think about I mean, per capita, but when you think about the quality. Odell Beckham's, the Peyton Mannings, the Marshall Fox, the Eli Mannings, the these these are Hall of Famers. These are not bench warmers. You know right. what I'm saying? So the best of the best. The best of the best. So this is what my initial plan and mission was. But as time has gone on, the impact has spread. So not just helping New Orleans, not just helping Louisiana. We can help any kid get faster, stronger, and better. And with the proper effort, time, and energy, you can achieve those goals. But you gotta dedicate yourself most of all for God first. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely, that's how we get up. You know. Now, what I want to ask you, uh, Coach, is one of the things about like your profession is a lot of a lot of it gets like a bad rep mm-hmm. because most of the people that do it don't do it for the right reason. They do it the wrong way. They're They'll sit there and post, hey, I'm working out with Jalen Waddle instead of, hey, this is how I help Jalen Waddle get to the next level or, or you know, or so on and so forth. Not just use that because one of the kids, one of the guys that um you train, you know, just happened to be his uh, his teammate. How do you navigate the negativity of the business and just pour into your athletes? How did it get to the next level? But also blocking out the noise of they saying this and that about you. Well, I get I get both sides, and I understand the reason why someone on the outside would look and say, "Why you need training?" You know what I mean? What's this guy was this guy before? He's always this guy, and I understand that. Um, because there are there are a lot of individuals out that's called themselves trainers just because they got ladders and cones. You know right. what I'm saying? But what I tell the young people that I work with, you have to pay attention 
between, and I tell the parents as well, you have to differentiate the hype stuff from the right stuff. And so how you see that, the consistency, the results of something. So even not just training, you can go to jobs, you can go to coaching. If, if an organization is really successful, it's gonna show you how to duplicate that success. Correct. If a coach is that successful in what he's doing, he's not gonna just have that, oh, that's Devontae Smith. This kid gonna know how to run routes like that. That kid gonna know how to run routes like that. That kid gonna know how to run routes like that. He's gonna know how to tackle. He's gonna know how to tackle. He's gonna know how to tackle. He understands how to translate this information, not to just one special kid, but to everyone around. So it's a difference between training and development. Mm -hmm. Training, mm -hmm. you can come maybe once, or you can even come a hundred of times, but it's, it's, it's more so on, I'm just getting some work in. Right. I'm getting a sweat in. Um, so like if you see a trainer, they, they may post a picture, yeah, such and such came and trained with me. But the development part is intentional about getting faster. How do we get stronger? How do we get better at our position? So my whole mindset of it is to be able to show them what to do. So when they get to you all, you could tell them, look, run this post, and they run it. You could tell them, take 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 these two read steps and then drop back in this flat and they're able to do that. Now, as you and I were talking before the show, mm -hmm. the development process, leaving out of the game because it's not enough time. And as you get paid, people don't want to teach you how once they paying you. No, they don't. You feel me? So- To be all time, the NFL is not a developmental league. This is not a developmental league. And so now in these days, with the NILs, and even before then, college is not a developmental league. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> now, again with these NIL, high school is not a developmental league. <laughs> Talk about it. So it's Talk either, it. yeah, we can say it is, and I mean, some organizations still, some high school organizations and some college organizations still manage to do that, and those are the successful ones. Right. But to be able to have an individual and, 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 and show them how to backpedal, show them how to take this proper step, if you don't know how to do it, they're gonna put you to the side and go look for who else know how to do it. Right. So it's just the fact, so back to the beginning of the question, how do you navigate the negativity? You just have to continue, continuously show the consistency and let the results speak and the people that you work with speak and the ones that's around you, like my whole mindset was, I said, I'm gonna make sure my people are the best they're gonna be the best, they're gonna say I'm the best, and we the best. Mm -hmm. So it's just continuing to show it, you know, cause it's always gonna have, you're gonna always have skeptics in whatever right. you do. You just gotta keep showing and putting it in their face and and hopefully they see the results, what I mean, but like me and my wife talk about all the time, we're attracting individuals who really are in line with the vision. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't have time for people who don't believe. You know, but that's why I show it on my page like that to show you, okay, this is Tyra Matthew, not, this is his his process of how he got faster, stronger in the off season. This is Jamar Chase. This is how he got faster, stronger in the off season. This is Josh Jacob. This is how he got faster, stronger in the off season. This is Tyreek Hill. This is how he got fat. So showing you all these different elements so you can say like, nah, this is real work. You, you, ain't, you don't have to, be a genius to see that, Fact. you know what I mean? And, 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 and the whole thing of my page, I'm just showing you the process of it. You know, everyone has a story. So right. it's exactly. gonna be history with those stories. Yeah. And Cause I'll be, I'll just, just, this is me being transparent. This mm -hmm. is one of the things that we love to do on our show. Just, you know, show the good, bad, the ugly, mm -hmm. cause it's gonna help somebody out there. When I started out coaching, when I heard, when I heard somebody I was like, man, coach, man, I'm going, I'm, a, I'm like, why are you late? I just came for training. Man, what you need a training for, man? You like, because I'm, you know, I'm just ignorant to the fact of, hey, this is helping you get to the next level. Because one of the things when you come from the sports world is 90% of your beginning is what you did as a player. 
or what you did in 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 that in that scene. And it wasn't until I started developing and training my own kids till I seen like the actual results. Because I was like, man, they just trying to make money off of you. And they know you this and that and that. But show me, show me this. But I was, but that was the bad side of of the business that was showing me A, B, and C. And I never forget um, when I was um, at A meet and Fred and our other co-host um, G G had came up to the game. I had the number one player of the nation at the time, um, and Ishmael Sapsha. And they didn't say nothing about him because of the rest of the, the, the rest of the, the three linemen that was out there with him each had double digit sacks. I mean, like for the season, like where, where yeah. Ishmael didn't get his double digit sack to the state championship. And Fred was like, man, you really had 72 sacks with these guys. These guys. Number one player in the nation just hit his 10th sack in the like, yeah. And like, what you did? That's why I trained them the same way I trained them the same way I did, got him. But the difference is he got the name, so he got the attention. So now you he gets everything else. So the three, and my philosophy was you can't block me one-on-one. This is how we beat that. And then once I started getting that, I started encouraging kids, hey, go to training because, like you said, I don't I only have 20 hours in a week with you as a high school coach. And in that 20 hours in a week, I have to put we have to play a game. That's three hours. So really now I'm down to 17. Right. And that's if the kid shows up for practice. So, and now being a, a, co- a coordinator is like game planning, the whole unit. And so it's like, hey, I, something's going to get left off the table. Thanks. The attention is there, but something is really going to get left off the table. When the stuff that gets left off the table, that's where a trainer can fill that void. But if young coaches, like, and I'm saying that for the, for the, for, for the people on my side of the business, don't be afraid to let your kids go be great. Help them. Now, what you do is you navigate them to the right one. And then that's why I would encourage people on your side of the business, come sit down with the coaches. Don't just be like, hey, I'm showing up at the park. I got these kids and all this stuff. Come sit down with the coaches because now we don't we won't have a wall up to you. Because at the end of the day, most of these kids are from single-parent homes. So we're the father figures. So we're like that's some of y'all are guardians. Me and Fred grew up together. My son has special needs. I know Fred would not do nothing wrong for my son. Right. Now I know Fred kids are Fred kids are not special needs, but I know he's gonna no because because of me and because like he would do his best that he can for my son. Correct. But somebody off the street, I can't say, hey AJ, go sit with him for like twenty minutes real quick. I don't know what your attentions are. So on a, on the same spot, you can't just show up and be like, hey, yeah, I'm training like 20, 10 of your kids. I don't know what your attentions are. Right. Mm, come sit down. Mm-hmm. Come talk to me. Like, and, it, it's a, and for most of the time, it don't even be about your catalog. No, I don't yeah. care who you train. Like, wh- are you going to teach them the right ways? Are you going to be another? Are you going to be the uncle now? Because, like, I didn't took father road. Are right. you going to be the <laughs> uncle to... Keep it moving and keep going straight. Something point. that, like, I want not just our coaches, our parents, our athletes to understand the di- because you understand the difference in working and working properly. Because you can work hard and be working wrong. I heard Coach Bryce say that, and it stuck yeah. with me. And like me and me and the brother of mine, we always talk about how it's better to not even receive training than to develop, get bad training and develop bad habits. I agree. So we have to, just like we vet our doctors, just like we vet the restaurants we go to, we have to vet the people that's pouring into our kids. Because at the end of the day, when they don't achieve the maximum level that they can or reach their maximum potential, they're going to be the ones to blame for it. Yep. And they're, and if they're in an environment to where they fell for the hype stuff or someone directed them to a certain area because they don't like a certain other area and that area is really not conducive for their success or that area has not shown a track record of success, what do you expect the outcome to be for that kid? Mm. And at the end of the day, 
that kid is going to have to deal with those consequences, going to have to deal with that mental heartbreak, going to have to deal with that injury that he receives, going to have to deal with the lack of performance. Mm -hmm. And it's not his fault. He thought he was doing the right thing. He doing the right thing. So I totally understand what you're saying as far as coming and talk to the coaches and, and things like that. And so like what we're doing, another another piece of the program that we're doing, we're offering to train trainers the right way. Because it's not just about, it's not just about, we, we all know that every sport, every human being want to be able to move from point A to point B as efficiently as possible. Right. Without discomfort, without having to take pain medicine. You know what I mean? So yeah. And so an athlete especially have to run, jump, land, cut, lift, bend, hinge. If your feet not proper, your ankles not proper, your knees not proper, your Achilles not proper, your calf not proper, your hips not proper, your glutes not proper, your hamstring not proper. That's a lot of stuff I just named. Yeah. And we got two of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. if any one of those things are not at its optimum, at least ninety percent. It's going. It's not only going to affect your physical. It's going to affect your mental. I'm about to say. I'm about to ask that question. Like, how all that stuff translate into game performance? How do you get players who gonna go through training? You got a lot of kids who you know. I'm gonna go train. I'm gonna go train. But how is that? How do you guys work with kids to get them to understand how this is gonna probably translate in the game? So, <laughs> in 2019, I created something called training that translates to the game. You yeah. see it over now, like certain people posting like some of their workouts and right. to train to the translate to the game. I've been doing that since 2019. We started that when Irv Smith Jr. made it to the NFL. So a lot of the training that we was doing, now we're seeing it show up on Fox. We're seeing it show up on ESPN. We show, right. show up on ABC. And same thing with Jamar Chase and those guys. So like I say, you have to do your research as well. You got it. You got it. If someone tells you that they can do something, who have you done it with before? You shouldn't be the guinea pig. If you help somebody, show me who you help. If 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 you can do this, who have you done it with before? How consistent has that been? Because, like we say, don't fall for the hype stuff. You got to go with the right stuff, and the only way to know that is pay well. God first. God, you got to pray to God and get discernment first, because there's so many choice. There's so many decisions out here, but there's only one right choice. Right. So, like people say. Oh yeah, it's more than one way to skin a cat. A post route is a post route. Fly route is a fly, fly. route. I nine, 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 nine. Seven's a seven. Come on, man. <laughs> so if you trying to make me do cartwheels and then back flips and then run this, my quarterback gonna be sacked by the time I get over. Oh, what? So the hype fuck for the right stuff, not the hype stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm could, you, could you watch it a lot of time when you're watching trainers now? And I, and I have nothing to be, I understand the game has evolved, right? I understand when you used to run the route, we'd run a straight ahead. Break, break, move. Now you got guys moving east to west before they even move north and south. We got a lot of that going on. And I'm like, well, how all this is going to translate? Because I watched, I, you know, I pay attention. I'm on internet like everybody else. I'm watching all this and I'm like, okay, how all this is translate? Because sometimes when I'm watching, it's a bunch of wasted motion. They're not, see, you're trying to do this in the game, then you ain't open. You ain't getting separation. Then I'm saying to myself, What's going on here, brother? And I, and I, I think you just hit the nail on the head. So when the crossover release became like the, the new fad. Correct. And like from the high school level, I'm telling kids like, hey, stop it. Well, Coach, man, Tyreek Hill do it. And, I seen it and, on Instagram. And I said, look, this is what I understand. This is, what I just, this is what I need you to understand. Tyreek Hill is going against somebody that's six foot two, that has a six foot eight wingspan and can run only five tenths of a second slower than him in a straight line. He has to do something to move him off the line. You going up against John, who daddy is the the head pharmacist at Walgreens. He ain't he can't run with you. You doing all this, 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 that, and that. We not even looking your way now. As a defense, I'm not even calling because you you taking yourself out the play instead of look, master get to the get to the spot right now. But see, like this is like you was asking, how do you so for how do you translate to the game? both of y'all? So 
I know that's the problem you have. And so by that problem that you're having, the agitation, now you're frustrated because he's not getting it. The play may not be on time. He's not confident because the coach getting on him. The solution is him taking those extra hours of being in the right environment and showing them how not to fall step, showing them the proper first. So like I just recently, it just came to my head where the guy just put it on me. Just I've been watching NFL primetime, the old, from 1996, 1997. Right. Like when we was coming up. The basics are still a basic. <laughs> Three right. step, five step, step seven step. step. The basics are still a basic. Yeah. So when when these quarterbacks trying to, everything is on time and everything is on rhythm. So when these quarterbacks trying to take an extra step in your drop, that's throwing your timing off. When the receiver's trying to take an extra step in your release just for the swag, it's throwing your timing off. Right. And so we wondering why, and so like that's what I was asking you, talking to you earlier about how you notice how some kids will have you see him in high school, then you don't see him no more in college. Or you see him in college, then you don't see him no more in the pros. The further, the higher you get up, the further away from the fundamentals they're getting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jim. And so the fundamentals are what got you to this level. But a lot of the hype stuff, the Instagram followers, and the where are you learning this from? Where did you see this working? So this is where I'm telling the individuals, look, is is this individual okay? How many people are top ten at that work with this individual? Mm -hmm. How many people are achieving at that level that work with this individual? You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, he got a hundred thousand followers. Who else is achieving? Who else? Is That's working? what matters. How is this going to help you? Because you only have a certain amount of time to master this thing, right? So let's say if you're a freshman in high school, you got freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, then college. Freshman, sophomore, junior. Seven years, you can change your family life. But you have to develop everything, your speed, your strength, your position specific. You have no time to waste. If you're not 6'5", if you don't pass this eye test, you're not 6'5", 240, running the 4'2", or jumping 50 inches. If yep. you're not passing this eye test, what you going to do to make yourself stand out? The young people get paid on future projected performance. Correct. What we think you're going to do in the future? And business is about your resume. What have you done? Mm -hmm. So, facts. It's like it's so much. Like we say, it's so many choices, but it's only right decision, one right decision. So you really have to pay attention to to the consistency and the results, and just to humbly speak and glory to God, all by God's grace. We've worked with the number one running back in the NFL. <laughs> The top 10 safety in the NFL, the offensive rookie of the year, the college Bolitnikov, Super Bowl champions, college football national champions, three state championship quarterbacks, another quarterback was on Netflix QB1, and the number one player in the NFL that's a nine quarterback. <laughs> if we was Austin the Elmwood, we'd be in Time Magazine. <laughs> One of the guys I just work with, just now he, uh, I'm helping him doing this physical therapy. The doctor telling him, oh yeah, well, um, he, he just got in a car accident. So he's telling him, well, yeah, well, now you can do your physical therapy. Um, I got the best guy for you. He was like, nah, I'm with the best guy already. He was like, no, 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 no. I got the guy for you. He's gonna, he, he's the best, I, I'm, I'm sure you. He was like, no, well look, he told his girlfriend, look, give me the phone. He showed him, oh, he works with Tyron Matthew. Oh, he works with Jamar Chase. Oh, he works with Tyree Hill. So as far as the resume in our city, we have this already. Correct. You see what I'm saying? And so one guy told me, another guy came up to me and he was like, he said, he said, Nat, uh, and not saying I take not taking no credit from no program or anyone else. Correct. But I did play a part in helping these young people develop. So, no, nah, I don't want to say it. We're leaving that right there. Listen, we're going to be right back. We got to take a short yeah. break. We got to pay some yeah. bills. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Stay right there. So, we're going to be right back. Yeah. Step 
Construction is here for you with a brand new offer. We now provide affordable storage sheds. Stop wasting your money on overpriced storage units and portable containers. Step Construction can provide you with a custom shed that will fit your budget and storage needs. So contact Step Construction today at 504-340-5809 for your own personal quote. Let us help you take the next step at Step Construction. During times of family stress, if you need a church to hold your funeral services or a hall to hold your repast, you can contact us at Bethesda Community Event Center at 504-340-0132. We can accommodate all your needs, from a preacher to perform the services to an organist that plays the music. We can accommodate all your repasts and funeral needs, including even streaming it live for those who can't make it. During your time of need, all of your arrangements can be made under one roof here at Bethesda Community Event Center. We're here to serve you. Give us a call when you're in need at 504-340-0132. Give your loved one a great home-going event. Come second line at our center. It's that boy Fred, host of FanView Podcast. Tune in to the NOTN app. Weekdays, 3.30 for the FanView Podcast. Go to NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com to watch more episodes of FanView Podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch. All right, body, listen, we're back. FanView Podcast. Hope y'all didn't go nowhere. Let's get locked in. Let's get back to it. So, um, Mr. Nunnery, one of the questions I want to ask you, this is going to be like a two-part two, two part question. Um, with being, like, in New Orleans, town rich area, like, is like I know it's easy it's easier to to get the talent that especially playing at a, a legendary park like Corral to get the kids to and, and to start your foundation right there. How do you branch out from New Orleans to Miami where Tyree Kill is? It, you know, um to Oakland at the time, Oakland with Josh Jacob was and all that stuff to get to get them on your profile. But also like for a cat who's trying to start out how how do you go from step A to step B, you know, to getting on on this on this on this right ladder to 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 not only properly go but not letting it get too big? Because hey, I worked with this star, I didn't made it. To keep it keep it grinding. Well, with me, it's more about the improvement of the individual, um, knowing how to help them develop their speed, knowing how to help them develop their strength knowing how to help them develop whatever position they're playing. Um, the in, human performance, like you asked about, what is a human performance specialist? Mm -hmm. um, like we talked about making sure each human being is able to move from point A to point B efficiently, making sure your feet are right, your ankles, your Achilles, your calves. So like you see a lot of, we in week five in the NFL and you see a lot of, calf hamstring injury Hammy. stuff like that Hammy. injuries you know what i mean ankle injuries so whatever what were you doing in the off season you know what i'm saying what type of conditioning were you doing you know so like this is what i tell the young people about not just going for the glitz and the glamour you just got it's real work and so like i say we started at harrell and showing and like that's what i tell the young kids as well i, I post how i post and show you all the work Cause they're showing you exactly what it takes. Like a, a kid asked me one time, Coach Nat, when you starting back? I'm like, I never stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, if you really want this, I can't be out here working more than you. Right. I'm 42 years old. I'm not trying to get the scholarships you are. Right. I'm not trying to make it to the league you are. So if I'm out here, you should be trying to be out here more than me. And so it's really to show the consistency and the grind, because we can tell the individual, yeah, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. Yeah, I'm not on the phone calling, hey, y'all y'all got y'all working? I'm literally out here throwing you the ball. I'm literally out here showing you how to backpedal. I'm literally out here showing you how to run this route. I'm literally out here showing you how to lift this weight, what weight to lift, what, but I'm showing you the grind, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so for an individual that's trying to come up, you, you have to embody it. 
you got to be it. And like, humbly speaking, the glory to God, all glory to God. This is what he blessed me to do. And others know, others are telling me, man, Nets, you're supposed to be in the league. I know that. But the different things off the field, like we talk about, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> so now, not only am I able to show you how to really make this move, catch this pass, make this tackle, cover, cover this route, throw this ball. If you don't do this work, this will happen. If you get up pregnant, this will happen. If you hang with him and he get caught doing this, this will happen. Everything out the door. That line from making it and not making it is this big. Mm -hmm. And they don't care if you don't make it. So just going, the, the individuals that we work with, glory to God, they they become, if anybody, any high school player that trained me for two years, they're going to be top 100 in the nation. That's what the resume have shown. That's what the numbers have shown. So these guys going to LSU, Alabama, Texas, Miami. So with Josh Jacob, he was Irv Smith's best friend in college. Right, So in Alabama. Yeah, so when Irv come back working, they see it, you know what I'm saying? But he never came in college, he came in the NFL. You're like, man, I, I suppose the Ben came, you know, I'm glad I'm here now and he's an NFL Russian champ. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he, had, he already had ability to make it to Alabama, to make it to the NFL, mm -hmm. to be a first rounder. But he still have to get faster. He still have to get stronger. He still have to get better at that. He still have to catch the ball out of the backfield. And your question is, would you say, how? Mm -hmm. We know the how. They know what they need to do, but how to do it. You see what I'm saying? So LSU, Jamar, Christian, Darrell Williams, Nick Brissett. Right. So individuals seeing, they improving. How y'all, what y'all done? Man, we going out in New Orleans every day. Well, these guys are from here. So like Chris Curry, he was from Florida. He used to travel from, after LSU practice, come and train. And we in in Ben's that I know everything to do. We're not overworking because right. you can overwork. And so like what you were saying about and like this when the injuries come, the strains and the tests. So like right. this is not just it's not just about training. You have to really properly develop. And so like you say, people come, they will come to your practice after training. I would never do that because un unless they train early in the morning and they don't come to y'all to the evening because my objective is to help your team, not to do what I'm doing, and then now you just go to your team. No, nope. it, it's so you it's so you can- That has to translate. You can come from <laughs> me and your coach, you go back to your coach and your coach say, man, what you doing? You the first string, you the starter. You the prep player of the week. You the all-star, you making it to the all-star game. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole objective, to make your team better. So if each individual is better, what's your team gonna do? Right. You see what I'm saying? So, but the vetting of the individuals working with your kids is, 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 is crucial. It's crucial. You know what I mean? So, like, the Tyreek Hill, um, I did a camp with Tyreek Hill in 2020. Man, like, he seen what I was doing. That was when Jamal just won the bullet in the call. He set out that year. And so he right. he came, he, he trained with me um, before he went to Exos. And he was ready before he even left. So like when they thought he was just sitting home, I got a video, a five minute video documenting that whole process. Like there was- We had a chance to talk to his dad. We knew he wasn't sitting home. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. talked to Jimmy, yeah, talked to Jimmy like, Chase he, during that time. He, he, he was really working. <laughs> he was working, he was working. We, got, we in the sand pulling chains. We in the, in the rain, we in the, we doing what we need to do to be the number one receiver in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So um, things like that. So, so Tyreek Hill, that's just, no relationships, you know what I'm saying? And, and and being able to add value to the game, you know? So like knowing what we are doing, you feel me? And, and just putting it on display and helping us. So that goes to the question of, that's how you keeping the top players at the best. The best get better. Yeah. The best get better. Anybody can help make a kid jump from this to significant, just showing them something. But these guys are already the top of the game. That's the top. And so you able to help the top of the top Continue to stay the top and even get better. That's 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 not normal. And the proof is in the pudding with Tyreek Hill. I mean, you talking about? I mean, you talking about a guy who's up for MVP last year hmm. at the National Football League, a non quarterback. Normally, obviously, Lamar wanted, mm -hmm. but but he was the number one ranked NFL player. He's <laughs> number one. He's number one. He's for twenty twenty four. He's the number one ranked NFL player. Number one. It, it wasn't. He wasn't number four. Nah. 
Tyreek Tyreek is Tyreek. He t- Tyreek is Tyreek, but he was number one. Yeah. You know He's number one now. Yeah, you feel me? So and 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 to have him understand and and he she sees it as well. To have him get faster. Yeah. We talking about the cheetah. You know what I'm saying? He he'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? So so these type of things and 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 this is, some like, this is why he believes he could beat Noah Lowers. Thanks to you. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. I ain't going to <laughs> I, I take credit for that. He, he, he's him. He's definitely him. He's definitely him. But we can we can help him. We can help him definitely elevate those facts. For sure. mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, maybe you Noah Lowers come go train by. Maybe, maybe he wouldn't win yeah, the, uh, can help him the 100 meters by, 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 the, by the blink of an eye. We can help him, too. We can help him, too, <laughs> because I'm, 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 I'm just quite shot. sure. I'm just quite sure. He's There's some inefficiency that we can help him make everything equally balanced and, 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 and perform to the highest level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we definitely could do that. So like, no diss to anybody, but like they say, there's only one no allows. You see me help Tyree get faster, Jamar Chase get faster, Tyron Matthew get faster, Josh Jacob get faster. Tyree came from, Tyree came from Kansas City. I mean, Tyron came from Kansas City. They thought he was done. There was old. He was top 10. They ain't just have them just by drinking gumbo and boudins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it help. Yeah. You feel <laughs> me? So in in and, and it's like if anybody can do that, like so individual asks, what's your competition? It's not no competition. Facilities are not. These guys, facilities work to get these type of individuals to come to this spot. And facilities don't have these type of results. Right. If they did, they'll be telling you. Front line and center, so they can get more value for their buck, more money for their services. So we 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 see it in humbly speaking, and we're not apologetic about it. Right. We know exactly what we're doing, and we the objective is to help as many as possible, not just players. We want to help the trainers do it right, because at the end of the day, these are our people, and not just the making it to the pros aspect. This is creating generational wealth. This is how we build our own schools. This is how we build our own hospitals. This is how we make our own resources. Don't have to ask no one else for loans. Mm-hmm. My, wife's, my wife's in the educational system. So just as passionate as I am about that legacy, that's how she is about the education. And it has to go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? So just Agreed. the 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 fact of of us building us, you know what I'm saying? Like that's really what this is about. You feel me? So like we we are the change for change. real. We the change. We the change. We the change. We the change for real. You know what I'm saying? And so and it's just about us as individuals understanding that and coming together and pooling our resources together and you know and that that's that's what I'm about. That's that's what this mission is about. And we can help anybody from the Hall of Famer to the Pro Bowl player to the stay at home mom. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about showing everybody how to do it the right way. Mm. It's on. Let's talk about this, man, because we talked about a lot of the positive things, and I don't like going negative by any any way about it. But what are some of the things that you could attribute to some of the, some of the athletes who are not making it? Some of the downfall. Because right now, I'll be honest. You know, you graduate two thousand. We graduate no three. The time we were getting recruited and going to college and trying to get to the pros, that system is different. It's a different system. We got the NILs. Mm-hmm. We got transfer portal. We got things that change, and we got so much misinformation. What are some of the things that we think we can, hint, you can attribute this to? What are some of the things that we are noticing some of the downfalls? Because now we're watching guys go from this school to this school to this school to this school, and we're like, what's going on? What are some of the information things some of these athletes are taking in that are not contributing to their success at the next level? You will go first, or you will? You go ahead. You go. For, for I'm, I'm going to speak for the coaches. Um, for the coach's aspect of it. Um, the phrase instant gratification. Instant gratification is the downfall. There, um, and I and I get I get some aspects of it, of growing up in the hood and all that stuff. You see somebody that you play that you play against or you know, whatnot, and you know you're better than like you might be a better athlete or like as an individual than, than them, but then when you get the team aspect of it. That person's doing better than you. And instead of 
sitting there embracing the grind, study, studying your craft and getting better for the scheme. Because that, that's the difference between the team sports and the individual sports. There's only one Michael Jordan, but the scheme around him got him the championships. So as long as you perfected, as long as Kuko perfected what he had to do, Pippen perfected what he had to do, you know, so on and so on, they was going to be successful. Once any one of them stepped outside of whatever they were supposed to do, it went downhill bad. And with the transfer portal, I, for me, I think what it's doing is it's hindering on two parts. It's hindering our high school athletes because now they don't have spots. So that extra year of development where they would have been red-shirted and, all right, hey, this is how you get your body ready for college sports, they right. lost it. So now you get there, and you got to think, up there, it's not it's not program-driven no more. Like when we came out, Correct. it's business-driven. So it's that's the other side of the instant gratification. Hey, if you can't produce right now, hey, I don't have time because if I don't if if I don't win these games, this one point three million dollars that they paying me a year, I get fired. So now my wife can't shop at Gucci; she got to shop at Five Below, and I'm not gonna have that wife no book. You know, so so it's what the city trends. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, yeah depending, depending on where you found it. <laughs> 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 you know, but but honestly, like the the instant gratification piece of it is 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 real is is real deal. The the hindrance to me, um, that's just that's part of the that's part of the downplay of like social media and all that stuff. You because for for instance, there's gonna be some kid that sit here and watch this podcast and watch one of Nat's training videos and say, "I can go do that." And try to do it, but he don't have the he don't know he don't understand the why behind this drill is done this way. He don't understand the science behind you have to do this. I can sit there and say, "Hey, run a forty yard dash," but if you don't understand the science of why I'm telling you, Ben, hey, your hips have to be locked right here. I'm giving you that this extra explosion is about to prepare you that much. It's physics that goes into everything. Right. So, but but by me not studying the craft and trying to master it, I want the instant gratification. I mean, I seen James Word, you know, I mean the word the kid run four two. I'm gonna get down in the same stands and try to take off like him. Good luck. And that's what's and to me, like from 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 my point of view, that's what's happening. That's the downfall of it all. Instead of our generation embraced the grind, whether it was athletics, whether it was jobs, you know, no matter what it was, like you had people in my my wife was a prime example of it. She said like she was a teacher for five years. Like a teacher then became the master teacher, then became the assistant principal. Now she works at, now she's a school working for the school board. But now you'll have somebody that just come out and teach of America and trying to get the Sit board, the trying to be a, a AP right off the back. You didn't put in the time, you didn't study your craft. So when you, if some team, if some school does hire you, you're going to fail misery because you didn't get your feet wet. You didn't understand the ifs and fifths, why we do this, why, why IEP is important, A, B, C, D. You don't understand what makes this position, this position, or as in the, in the player point of view, you don't understand what makes a D lineman a D lineman. You don't understand what makes a DB a DB. And how do you understand the mechanics? I just see this video, this five second clip. Oh, I could do that. I'm gonna do it, and then when the results don't happen, what you so gonna do? Like you're saying, instant gratification, lack of development. So, seeing the video, like you're saying, and trying to go out and mimic the drill, running the forty, you don't understand that it's the drive phase, acceleration phase, maintaining phase. You don't understand. In the drive phase, I have to push the ground back. In acceleration phase, I'm standing up tall. I'm getting my legs overturning. You don't understand, okay, I know a D-line. I know I'm a D-line and I have to get off the line. I have to be able to long arm. I have to be able to go speed the power. I have to be able to dip and rip. But you don't know how to make that first step as explosive. You don't know how to strengthen your tricep and your pec mm -hmm. to extend that arm out there. And by not doing that, now you have a torn pectoral muscle. Right. You don't know how to dip and rip. You you know you have to dip and rip, but you don't know how to keep your body square and get underneath and be able to 
use the things in the weight room to be able to strengthen those muscles to be able to make that move as efficient. You don't right. know how, you know you have to plant here and cut here, but you don't know how to keep, you don't know that keeping your feet outside your body frame gonna make my foot slide out. And if my knee buckle in, that's gonna make my ACL tear, which is attached, which attaches the lower part and the upper part of my leg. Now I'm out eight to 12 months. <laughs> so people knowing what to do, but not how. They know why we gotta do something, but not how. So we know what you gotta do, why you doing it, and how to do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't know that. Everybody don't know. Because if they did, they would be showing it, they would be putting it out there like that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they, I hope they're not shooting for not success. Right. You see what I'm saying? So right. when you're seeing these individuals with these Achilles injuries, these calf injuries, it's because you're coming, you're, you're told not dorsiflex. This is plantar flex, this is dorsiflex. Your Achilles tendon is your shock absorber of your body. It's just like the shock absorber in your car. If your shocks are bad in your car, when you hit a bump, what's gonna happen? No, 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 no. If you, if you hit the ground, <laughs> you hit the ground without, that Achilles, without that Achilles ready to absorb that land and reapply that force, Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Pop. Wait another year to think about it and get it right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can build it back up. So it's it's the develop that development process. So like this is my whole I understand. And so I I joke with my wife, I joke with everybody, but I'm really serious. We really the best in the world. Humbly speaking, all glory right. to God. The numbers, the resume, the results speak for themselves. We don't have hamstring, quad injuries, Achilles injuries. We don't have we don't have that. We working to prevent that in this really, so the things that we're doing, and so you're saying, how does the things translate from the field to the weight room, to back to the field from your speed, your, the stuff you do as far as your strength, strengthening those hamstrings, those quads, those muscles around those knees, landing properly, feet inside your body frame, all these things matter. Mm. Not just for athletes, for human beings. Human beings. You know what I'm saying? If you, 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 people wondering why they have tight backs because your hamstrings are weak. So uh, I didn't know the hamstrings are connected to the back. That's why we go to the doctor, because we don't know. You know what I'm saying? So right. being able to show <laughs> our kids this from young ages, like they say, it take 10 years to master something. Mm -hmm. Those guys were 16 years old when we started. They 26 now, okay, some of them haven't been around since, since uh, about two years. So they still six years of learning how learning to catch properly, learning how to run properly, learning how to live properly, as opposed to, they competition who, okay, they did high school, they did college, but all, all the college and the high school and even the pros are mimicking what Alabama doing, what LSU doing. Oh, they won a national championship. It must be working. Lift like this. But you're not understanding why one side is stronger than the other side. Why, why this side is pulling more than this side. Why this side is strained and this side is irritated. You know what I mean? These guys come in the league and, and, and it's not by mistake you come in as a rookie and be top five? 1,400 yards. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> 80 catches. You feel me? <laughs> 13 touchdowns. Hey, so like, it's, 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 it's about doing it the right way. You feel me? It's, 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 about, it's about understanding that we have something here in New Orleans, Louisiana, that nobody ain't got in the world. For real, for real. For real, for real. For real. And we can show it, and I'm, and I'm open to show it to your team, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's like we say, the, our kids are gonna be the ones suffering for it. Mm -hmm. They say, and they say by 2050, the median income in a black household gonna be zero. Zero, there's nothing lower than zero. And the reason being, because look at everything, we moving towards technology. What do we have in our environment that's catering to tech? Nothing. Nothing. Everything is hospitality. We gonna see, we need somebody to cook, we need somebody to change the sheets in the, uh, ho in the hotels. So they're not worrying about education for real, because you don't need no real education to do that. And Yo. then at, and then when you, these computers take over- You can that stuff. Come on, man. And then when these computers take over, these robots take over, then what? And so now you're talking about crime, what crime gonna be then? Chat, BB, G -E -B -T. Yeah. Chat, <laughs> yeah. Chat, GBT. See what I'm saying? So, so this is the time for our young kids to start to understand how powerful not in like we talk about the vote, the voting, how powerful they vote, how powerful their voice is, how powerful their actions are, how powerful it is to stick together and 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 bring that 
community, the inner community is unity. Mm -hmm. It's on us to make us. We don't have nobody passing us down millions of dollars, but we got abilities that they're paying hundreds of millions of dollars for. Right. Yeah. And so the thing about it, I in 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 what our kids are, and just to put it out there, our kids are leaving where they're getting better at and going where it's hype at, and they're falling off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you say, oh, who he think he is, who he think he can help, look at who I've helped. Mm -hmm. And I'm still doing it. I'm not stopping. Watch it if you think it's not real. Now let me ask this question. Because one of the things um, G is like candid about saying is like a lot of people, like everybody posts their success, but nobody posts their failures. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, in business and sports and all that stuff, it's going to be it's success. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be failure. That's just the nature of, 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 the, um, of the world, you know. And how do you have that conversation with that athlete that's plateaued? That, and yeah. you know, father time might have caught up with him, or, or years of bad training, or just you know injuries and all that stuff. To where, like for me, instance, I don't have I don't have an ACL or a PCL in my right. That's how you stand, how you sitting right there with your feet, your feet yeah. like this here. So every time every time you walk, your knee gonna go in like this. So even if so, just imagine if you come down with mad force. Your feet gonna go like this, your ankle gonna go like that, and your knee gonna go like that. Mm -hmm. Now you correct that, you gotta keep your feet inside your frame, stay on the outside of your feet. You got two parts of your ankle, the inside, the outside part. As long as you keep your feet, you've ever watched babies come out, they walk pigeon toed and bow legged. As we done got older, we done been chilling with the V feet, just relaxing. The habits yeah. you create. So even as you train, if you ever if you ever played offensive linemen, they gonna automatically tell you to go in with your feet like that. Mm -hmm. That's why these linemen are wearing these braces. Before these linemen never wore braces, but now. They all got and, they, got when they get in these stands, they're telling them, bend your knee, bend your knee like that. It's not anatomy, 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 whatever. It's not a, I can't even get it out my out my word. It's not aligned properly to be able to even even be conducive for your performance. Mm -hmm. So, how can you put me in an uncompromising position and expect me to have success? Yeah, it's just, it's that go like, back TJ Watt. It's just, it's it's just it's just, it's just like <laughs> it's just like twenty sacks. <laughs> so so so, but you don't know that. You feel me? So so so, and our kids don't know that, and these NFL players don't know that. But they got people that they go into, they paying millions of dollars that they hope if, that. And like, and I think I I switch around for the to the to the side that I specialize in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people like I I didn't had other high school coaches. I didn't had college coaches ask me, man, why you don't why you don't teach the drop knee and double team? I said, have you ever been double teamed in your life? Hmm. Hmm. Right? You, I said, I've been double teamed. Drop it down to a knee and have 600 pounds coming. Lay on I'm you. I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I know this is a hinge type thing. And, and especially if you go in like that, it's not hinge property. And you ask me to drop to a knee and this happening? It's only one. It's, it's only one thing that's supporting this. It's gonna pop. I'm gonna teach. Hey, we gonna squeeze and get skinny. To 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 um, I could be in the walker, squeeze, get skinny, baby. Because it's just, but it's just that. As a coach, I understand because I I didn't have kids that hella five high school players, and I told college coach like, hey, he's not gonna. He he. We got the most out of him right there. Now. I don't care what schools behind you. We got the most out of him. But I and wonder, this, I this wonder is, what make you say that. I wonder, I, I would, I would love to see any individual because I know that for a fact. Even if, if someone told me that about you, mm -hmm. that you reach your maximum potential, I'd be like, no. no. Well, if it, I would look at you, I'd be like, if, if you do what I tell you to do, I know all that's gonna line up, and that's gonna be better than what it is right but now. For me, like when it, when it, when it comes to like when I have that 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 like honest conversation with a college coach. One, because I want you to come back to my, to my school. But two, I know from the college point of view, you're not with this kid. If that makes sense. So, like, when if this kid go to Alabama, as great as Nick Saban was, Nick Saban wasn't with his teachers, following up, you know, creating um, bips for them, you know, studying IEPs, all that. He had somebody else, as that person had somebody else. And that person has somebody else. So he's just getting information mm -hmm. and he has this amount of time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it took me 
three years to get him the way to he, get him to understand when time. we say white two, yeah, and it's a cornerback right here with no overhang that he runs a that with no overhang he runs a slant, but. In the same situation, if there's an overhang, he has to run a post. And see, that's, me, that's the me, mental part of it. It took me yeah. 10,000, them 10,000 hours. So it's, see them it, it, mm-hmm. and, and the thing is, like, I understand, like, hey, like, time is pressed for, for everybody, but I understand the higher you go up, the less time you have to put into, go back to what you said in the beginning, the fundamental parts of it. So if I'm telling you, look, I've, I'm working with him, with his counselor. I didn't read his IEP and all that. When you get how many, how, think about how many. Dang, your, no, and, nobody and, not gonna hold his hand and, like and that. Your, and your, exactly. your, wife, your wife is education just like mine. So like you understand where I'm about to go with this. How many college coaches you know when they show up to campus? Let me see what type of accommodation he has. Hmm. Is he in the five hundred five hundred four program? Does he have? You know, does he have an IEP? What what are the accommodations for his IEP? You don't say they don't take and all that. that to like. I get this and I say, well, if this kid. Has to have has to get pulled out for testing. He has to get read a lot of stuff and all this stuff. That means the way I talk to Fred, it got to be different than the way I talk to him. In the same in the same aspect of that, I got to make it cohesive for Fred to him to net understand when I say, "Hey, we doing hurricane. Every day got to move." To, and I'm telling you, hey, it took three years of studying his accommodations and all this and all this stuff to get there. I know you're not gonna have because when he gets there, you are gonna be like, oh yeah, you are gonna look at Hunter like, yeah, he could do ABC for me. But then what happens when he gets to the campus? All he could do is run a bubble for me. And if he could only run a bubble for you, he gonna be on the bubble the second year and the third year. So what I do is, okay, I get what you're saying. Now, as far as as far as the knowledge of the game. If you ain't got it, sometimes you ain't got it. But the physical aspect of right. it, I'm like you say, all he could do is run the bubble. I'm gonna make sure he know how to run that bubble from one through nine. He gonna because that's physical. Right. Muscle memory, I can show you every day you come out here, this is what we doing. We're gonna do your speed stuff, you want, we're gonna warm up, we're gonna stretch, you're gonna do your speed stuff, your mechanics, then we get into these routes. At least three times a week, at least three times a week. So muscle memory alone, you're gonna know what to do. The mental part, like you said, to knowing the choice routes now that offense may not be for them. So this is what you said earlier mm-hmm. about the kids going to programs for height, height instead of the ones that are for right. them. For them, you got to go yeah. for which ones that's for you. You have to go to you have to go to the situation that's for you that, that fits you, right? Now, I, them lights for some, them, them them lights are for another kid. You got to choose your lights. And, you got to choose what's for you. And and it's not it's and it's not the physical ability, it's not the physical talent. Because if you can you can will yourself to the top. You can you can Agreed. work yourself to the top. Because we all know hard work be talented that don't work hard. Period. Some guys can just come out and do it and catch one hand and backflip. Correct. And run the routes. They got others that gotta put in a little more time. Correct. And that's the majority of people, though. You got to put more time in. So anyone can do this. It's not like, oh, it's a unicorn. So like, just like when we was coming up, they were saying, oh, to make it to the professional, make it to the professional ranks, it's a one in a million chance. Mm-hmm. I just told you ten people. So we must be part of that one in a million. So I'm saying it's just about the mindset of the individual. So like you're saying, how do you talk to the individual that plateaus? I'm talking to them every single day. I'm letting them know. Listen, if you don't get this. Either you're going to make it or you're not. It's no in between. It's on, I'm going to show you exactly every single thing to do. From when you leave here, you could go to your coach that's going to get you the starting spot, that's going to put you on the field, that's, you produce that on the field, the coach is going to see you, the, 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 the reporters are going to see you, you come back and we continue to do the same thing, rinse and repeat, you're going to get where you need to be. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's on them to understand that the world not gonna hold your hand. How you do one thing is how you do all things. You can't just say, I'm not gonna put all this effort in here, but I'm gonna give maximum effort over here. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen like that. It ain't gonna happen like that. So every single day they coming out there, we steady and still in them. When they, from the time they, if, if they chilling too much, if they late, if they, 
Not, not for the simple fact we being disciplinarian, but no, we only here for a certain time. I'm taking time with you. I'm away from my wife. I'm away from my kids. I'm away from my family. Everything is a cost. And then, but with that cost, you want to be able to get more value from what you spent. You see what I'm saying? So if they coming out there spending their time and their effort and their energy and their money after practice and stuff like that, they want to go back and have something that they can translate to this game. You feel me? If I'm spending my time, my effort, my energy, I know you can't pay me with Tyreek paying me. I know you can't pay me with Tyron paying me. But I'm looking for this result to be what we did out here to show out there. That any a person telling you, oh, yeah, I appreciate you. The best form of appreciation is action. It's action. Don't tell me you love me. Ain't nobody can tell me they love me. No, you love me and what you doing. What are you consistently doing? That's Nobody you, perfect. That's how you just got to argue with your wife. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you, boy, they, I real talk though, but, it, but, it, but it's real though. It's real though. So like, so like, like that's, 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 that's on the individual. Like, and so this is what our community have to come together. We can't just getting a scholarship is not enough. Right. Just getting the offer is not enough. That's the base. That's not it. That's, that's not it. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta earn that scholarship year after year, year. after year. Just because you signed, oh, I got a full ride. No, you don't. You got one year you got, you to got, prove it again. You got a full year. You got a Thank full you. year. That's what I tell my kids. You, hey, you ain't no, the full, that that phase is old. over. With. Come on, man. Year. Come on, man. And so, and they looking, they looking for the next one. They looking for the next one. Let you, let you don't, they say when the, when the, this is bigger than the cat, they getting rid of the cat. So, if each individual is not, mastering their craft every year to, to, to make themselves as valuable as possible, as irreplaceable as possible, you out of there. If we if I don't do what I'm supposed to do as a trainer, I'm out of there. You gonna find somebody else. It's on me to show you that ain't nobody better. Y'all y'all got this podcast going to show that y'all gonna bring the best quality content, y'all gonna be the best guests, y'all gonna y'all gonna be the most professional, y'all gonna be have the, mo the best lighting, the best cameras, so everybody can continue to come back. Come back. Come back. Cause everything costs, these lights cost. So we hoping that we, the time we putting in right now, the time, effort, and energy we putting right now, we're going to get more value. We're going to get more value out of it. Come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? So so this is how I talk to these kids. Mm -hmm. Either you want this or you don't. I, I think. <laughs> For, flat out. Oh, simple. I, I think that's the problem with our community. You know, just, it, like, you know, we're, we, you know, we, we all a product of, you know, we Marrero, Katie Heights. Uptown. Uptown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all the hood, mm -hmm. no, matter, no matter how you cut it up. It's just different parts of the, of, the, of the city. And I think the problem with the generation now is they can't take constructive criticism for people who generally want good for them. Like when we was growing up, if we were somewhere we were supposed to be, they had, it was a guy that was in the hood, you ain't supposed to be here. But like they say, Why are you here? But like they say, Hard time make strong men. And it, strong men make weak yeah. kids. <laughs> weak kids make hard times. So instead of them, this is the message we have to get to them right now. And like they say, it's only 2% gonna be successful. Mm -hmm. So out of 100 people, only two. But see, I, like, this is, this is why I disagree with that phase. And that's like, everybody got their, everybody have their own little notion. I, I, I challenge my kids to understand what success and what failure is. Okay. So for me, failure is giving up. Mm -hmm. It's nothing else. It's okay. nothing else. Like success. Hey, of course, I want that six figure paying job. I didn't had it before. You know, so, so it's like, all right, that's success. You know, some people look at that monetary as being successful. But then my dad served in the military and he never made six figure in his life. But he got up to go to work every day. That's he's successful. Successful you know is saying? doing is it, doing what it, you set out to do, and and not and just not giving up. It is, you you can't I can't place the value of success on anything that's monetary. Success is me just keep going. Hey, because and I think me having a special needs kid like changed my whole mindset of that. We from the we from the um, age of where you got an A on the on the test, you got a gold star, but then. Some that same kid that got a C, he don't get a gold star. But what if the C is the best that that kid can do? That's success. Damn it, you success. That's success. You know why? Because you didn't give up. Hey, if you went from an F to a D, you successful. Now, is it the is it the shining star that they gonna throw a parade for you? 
No. no. But guess what? I'm here. I'm the advocate that's sitting to tell you, hey, that's big time there, buddy. All right, now the work that we did to get to that D, let's put a little bit more. And now it's a C. Hey, let's put a little bit more. Now you didn't barely graduate high school. You you know, hey, you got across the stage. You successful. Hey, let's put just a little bit more. Hey, I got it. Hey, coach, I got that associate. My man. Hey, you successful. I don't care what. Hey, yeah, this person driving around in a, in a scat. Okay, that same person that drive around in a scat is paying, is, is selling everything in their mama just to pay a note and put gas in it. Right. And ain't got nothing to show for it. But on Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff, that sucker looks successful. Why? Because I'm portraying this. And I think, I just want to challenge everybody that's in our young kid's life to to have that mindset. As long as that kid ain't giving up, as long as that kid ain't six feet under, as long as that kid is trying to make it. If you can wait, every day I wake up, I'm successful. That's why I tell my kid every day, look. God bless me to wake up. I didn't put my feet on the ground. I could, I, I could think I'm already successful right now. Now, how I just build on that success. The moment I say, you know what, I ain't going to work. I just fell for that day. No matter if, eh, no, yeah, eh, I absolutely. could have hit the lottery. So I could have all that so stuff. So would you agree that success is doing what you set out to do? Yes, but th- like, like, I, w- I, w- I was, I would say yes. And understand, like, hey, even me setting out, like, hey, we all men. Man, my wife need her all changed. I set out to change that all. But the part she need, the, none of the stores got an order, it came in. But, hey, the task of the all being changed did not get completed today. But it doesn't mean I wasn't successful. I, everything is lined up for me to do it the next day. So I uh, I achieved success in getting it. The, the big goal just wasn't accomplished. I achieved it with a state championship every year. Just because I didn't win a state championship don't mean I'm, su- I'm not successful. Excuse me. As a kid growing up, I achieved to get to the NFL. Didn't make it. Does that mean I'm not successful? No. Keep moving. Keep. And I think when you change that mindset, especially in New Orleans, Especially the inner city, it elevates the thinking of, all right, okay, I didn't make it. Like, hey, God has plans. Yes, he does. I can't walk the hey, this light is shining on you right now, Nick. That's got let's let's, let's use that as God like. All right. If that's the the light or the path that God got shining up for me, no matter how I walk around it, I can't escape this path. So if my if your path was always to be where you at right now, no matter how great a high school player you was, how great a college player you was, what you could have went, what's the best nursing school in America? Yeah, whatever it is. You could have yeah. went there and graduated summa cum laude. You know, at the end of the day, and it, if you walk, you did all that walking around, and you still was going to end up right here. Does that mean you're not successful because you didn't make it in nursing because you make it for? That's the mentality that we got to challenge our young colored people with. Men, women, all that stuff. You just got to push a hey, positive on all because there's too much negative in the world. Listen to the music that they listen to. Listen to, like, just watch everything they do. It's nothing that's going to hold them. But if you just, hey, hey, man, you didn't curse nobody out today. You successful. Hey, you did all your homework today. You successful. Positive, positive, positive. Yeah, positive. And then what, what, what happened is a trickle-down effect. Coach, man, Coach Nettie told me, I done made it a training on time. Every, all three days this week, he told me I was successful. Now that kid that's behind that don't have the push, like don't don't have the, the support I have, hey, man, your pants ain't sagging today, man. You, you, I see that, boy, you, hey, you, you successful with that. Man, for real? For real? Now the domino effect. Now the domino effect. Think about how much better the world would be. Oh yeah, one hundred percent facts. That, that's that's how I just that's how I just, like us as black people have always created our own narrative. We just never told our own story. That's the difference. So now, if I'm if I'm, if we teaching our kids to create their own narrative and tell your story in the process, 
It's nothing that nobody can do. I just tell people all the time, man, your, your, your objective is to create tasks and show up. Just don't, sh- but don't show up. Show up. Mm-hmm. Show up. They, hey, you got to put your effort in. You got to pay your dues. Anybody can go somewhere and do something, but are you showing up? Are you giving what you have to give? And obviously it, it's difficult when you're talking to kids because with these little things here, I call it the matrix. Um, they all get caught up in it. As adults, we do too. Mm-hmm. But we all get caught up in it. And it has a way of distracting and taking away. And that's cool. It has this, it has this, you know, entertainment and the variables. But you still gotta ask yourself, you only got a certain amount of hours a day. Did you show up at the time when you was able to show up? You gotta figure that part out. And some days you some days you're gonna be unproductive, some days you're gonna be productive. But you gotta find more productive days than unproductive days. That's just the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And because what happens is when you start finding ways to be unproductive, those well, people that say negative things have have way of coming in more. Mm-hmm. They, they they influence you more. When you more productive, you finding your way around people who are just as productive. That positive light starts to find ways into your world because your 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 law of attraction is starting to attract those things because you're you're you're, you're achieving those productive things. Mm-hmm. So your natural actions is to be around other people who are productive. Mm-hmm. So the positive influences and the energy have a way of just circling around versus the unproductive things. To, those ne- and what happens is when you get all negative, what starts to happen is you find you find isolation, hmm. and that's how those all those thoughts come in, right? And no one's correcting these thoughts, no one's challenging these thoughts, so you start to run on your own little path, right? Good, bad, or indifferent. But when you're around productive people, you realize, damn, I ain't never really by myself over here. You ever notice that some of the, the top players are always training? They're always trying to to get better. They ain't never training alone. I'm doing those by myself. They're always working out with other top players. Why? Cause it's energy. It's infectious. Man, what are he doing? What are he doing? What are he doing? I mean, he productive. He, it's infectious. But the people who are not unproductive, they, they, they're primarily all alone or they got a few of small little people. And it's like, that ain't going to cut it. Because all y'all going to do is find ways to create excuses for being unproductive. Mm-hmm. And that's how quitting starts to happen. Or it's going to come into you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to trickle in your head. It's going to get there. Or you're going to have the people that they, 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 I call them the excuse givers. Well, that's they, what, they got excuses. Well, what, they. That's why they say murmur. And it's, it's in the Bible. Don't murmur and complain. Because, like, all these are biblical principles and it's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this momentum that you're creating, you're going to create good momentum or bad momentum. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, we hear the cliches if you hang around four people, you're going to be that fifth one, whether it's good or bad. Good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, you can have your own independent way of thinking, but when you have those thoughts, like you talk about, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Either someone is going to be able to reinforce those thoughts or go against those thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that environment that you keep yourself in is, is very key. Very key. It's, it's vital. Yep. And I think it's a lot of time that's what that's – what, Holds back. And I think that's a lot of times the downfall to some of these that they they starting to get the wrong information. They get mm-hmm. bad thoughts. Man, I'm not playing, man. I was told this, I was told this. But how about you get back to work? How about you get back to work? How about you get back to work? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all you got to do. That's it. The basic. How about you get back to get work? Get back to the basics. Get back to the basics. Get back to work. Get back to the basics. And the crazy thing is, you don't realize how crucial that is. But think about it too. When you're depressed. You don't want to let you don't want to do nothing. But as soon as you get up and moving, it leaves. It leaves. Get back to work. Get back to work. <laughs> get back to work. You might not have the same spunk. Of, yeah, but, it takes but some you got to build the energy. You get back to the rest. Look, get back to the rest, man. When, when you, you sit it. and grief, it's just like, mm, mm. but the moment you like get to move and shake it off, you. All right. yeah. Oh, I could walk. Now. Yeah, man. I could talk to you. It just yeah. And I'll be remiss. I'll be remiss. If before we end this podcast, as if I didn't ask how as a married man, the father, doing this doing what you do, how does that how does that help you better in your business? Patience. Well, shout out to my lovely wife, man. Everything <laughs> none of it, man. Um her patience and and just Allowing me to travel and 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 hold the house down and hold the kids down. That's that's 
that way I can just go and focus on what I'm doing and not have to worry about that in the back end. You know what right. I'm saying? That's 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 everything. You know what I'm saying? A peaceful household is everything. That's when, you know, you want to you want to be able to come inside and and have peace, and you're already dealing with everything out there in the world. You know right. what I'm saying? So to be able to come inside and and have that peace and have that that know that this is what God is. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. You feel me? And so that's is everything because, like we say, your foundation, your base. You know right. what I'm saying? You got to go back to your recharge place because the world is, can be draining. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what? Just to get back, <laughs> you feel me? Just to get back and 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 refocus. And know what the task at hand is, and get back to God, man. Is that's everything for sure, for sure. Yeah, and I that, think there's a lot of times that that's a it goes unspoken, man. Um, having that person, um, because a lot of times when y'all here in the world, you're just doing so many different things. You're off center. You're doing everything that you want to do, but you don't really feel whole. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're running the world, mm -hmm. and it's, you can be productive, but you don't feel whole. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Something there's a void. There's something missing. Mm -hmm. I think that's also an ingredient to when you're watching productive, positive men. Um, in most cases, they have a home, and they have a family, and you notice that it goes unspoken. We're not speaking about that enough. And yet, there's a woman at home. There's a family at home. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's a focus thing, bro. Like, like you, you see, you only got twenty four hours. Twenty hours in a day. You sleep for eight of them. You got sixteen left. You go to work for another eight. It's another eight left. You eat for three of them. That's yeah. five left. You know what I'm saying? So what are you gonna do? It, it to to be out here and wilding and all that. It's not enough time. Enough time. Enough time. And so and so then it's like when you have stability, is it's a constant flow. But like. This is God's way. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, like man's supposed to have a vision. Woman's supposed to be there to help carry out that vision. Every we working together what to mean? build a whole, and so that leads to the children. Mm -hmm. So now you raise productive young men and young women. Correct. You feel me? But the enemy, his whole thing is to divide and conquer. Yeah. If I can confuse you first, make y'all bickering, then I can divide y'all. And I could conquer y'all. And y'all, you get big old with crazy stuff. That's it. Cause like, cause like you married to a devil just like I married. So <laughs> there like, you go. So, so it's like, it's there like, you, pop, you go, like you away for a little while, you come back, it's like five more elephants in the room. It's like, what, what is all these elephants for? <laughs> like, they not, we not, we not, we not Buddha or nothing like that, man. Get some of these elephants out. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it just. <laughs> Better enjoy them elephants. You know what I'm <laughs> Sometimes, hey, you gotta give. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you like when you when you dig down to a de detail, like, ain't y'all a duck? Why, why ain't no oh, ducks around here, man? Where, where, where the elephants at? <laughs> but, you know, but 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 I think for me, to me like it's that, my, the like be, have a, being successful and having a wife there to to like be that to support you for how to back. It's the perfect barrier for you because like when you walk in. There's a lot of stuff out there in the world. And when you walk in the house and just to know that like, all right, peace. Some some type of fall. Some type of fall is coming your way. You're coming away. Like, all right. Like when the, like we doing a podcast right now. Get home. All right. Homework's gonna be done. This is gonna be done. I just get to be superhero for like Derby. Daddy ho, yeah, man. How was school? How it did? Hmm. What this boy like you? We ain't doing that till you're thirty. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? it's, it's like it's, it's like you get that, but then but then on the weekend when daddy's home, all it's like roles reverse. Mommy's mommy get to sleep. Now it's like, hey, daddy, dad, like, mm -hmm. like this what your mama gotta do? Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> you want another one? I don't know about that. I don't like daycare that much. But it's like, but it's like make it's, decisions. It's the yeah. It puts you so much at peace when you got a person that is like balance stuff off of it and do stuff, but then like I like super hats off to all the single people that 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 do it. Oh yeah, man, it's crucial. My like you, it, every day, we, go to Thailand, brother. Oh, we <laughs> you be single mom with these kids. Oh, we man. Oh, we shout out, shout out. especially this generation of kids. Shout out, yeah. Them. Yeah, all, all all them. I know no, how many. Games and practices my wife gotta go to. Man, then you gotta cook, then you gotta clean, then you gotta 
Lord, shout out, shout out, wife, wife. <laughs> you know what I'm Tough saying? road. Yeah, that's, that's an extra elephant you got to order on Amazon. Today. You did. That's, that's, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Peace is everything. <laughs> Listen, man. Yeah, man. We got to get it ready to wrap up. But before we go, we got to get into Coach Nay phase. Okay. All right. I'm gonna start this thing off right. Coach Nate. Favorite pair of shoes. G Nights. There we go. <laughs> G Nights. Not there a Force go. One. Not G Fazos. <laughs> G Nights, man. We're from New Orleans, man. What's that? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Straight Oakwood Wall, straight to your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. G Nights, man. A crispy yeah. white thing. Crispy white. Yeah, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do a little spin on this. Favorite comedian of all time. I'm, I'm coming with the smoke. We're going to just get straight into yeah. it. Comedian Favorite all comedian of all time. I mean, I just. I got a few of them. Like I, I, I won't get back in. I won't watch Eddie Murphy again. I won't see Richard Pryor. <laughs> I'm liking the Wayans brothers. They, they, they whole family legacy thing that they doing. Shout out the Wayans. Um, yeah. Uh, who, who else? Uh, Kevin Hart. I watched Kevin Hart movie. It made me, it made me laugh. My wife's on. I ain't gonna say that. We, we, might, <laughs> we might meet Kevin, so I ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you dig? I like Kevin. But yeah. My favorite is Eddie Murphy. That's okay. my favorite yeah. of all time. Yeah. Birdie Mac. Yeah. I, I like Bernie too. Birdie. Yeah. I'm winning the top. I, 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 it ain't no order, man. It's listen, just, listen. Coach Hinn is winning. As a listen, Coach Hinn is winning. For all the guests that we had, yeah. he went by a mile. Okay. <laughs> well, I gave this one, though. It's not a clue. You're making that yeah. up. Yeah. You're making it up. Making Talking some ground. You're walking it down. You know what I'm saying? It's still 5,182 steps left. Bernie. Right now, Bernie is 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 winning number one, and it's not even close. You know, right? Now, G Sports is, is, is Chris Tucker, um, which is a good one. Me, me and G behind. Mm -hmm. Bernie is leading the pack. It's not even close. Okay. Right. Favorite football player of all time? Bo Jackson. Bo? Bo Jack oh. Bo okay. Jackson. Yeah. Bo knows. Yeah, Bo Jackson. That's why I became a Raiders fan. And that's why I played all the different sports and played all the different positions. And so like Bo, yeah, Bo. Yeah, it's Bo. Bo and and, and I gotta say, as I got older, Charles Woodson. Okay. You feel me? Um, I like Dion as of late as I started to see the game, but Charles Woodson as far as all around. I like Rod Woodson before I liked the Dion because yeah. He could tackle. He right. came up and tackle. Dion could tackle too, but it wasn't as It wasn't like Rod. Yeah. 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 Rod ended up changing position, going to safety, and became an yeah. all pro there too. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So like Dion, um, Rod, Bo Jackson, number one. Though. Right. Yeah. Baby, go ahead. I'm about to I'm about I'm about to I'm about to pull my Fred hat on and put you in a messy situation. Oh goodness. Favorite athlete I train? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whoever locked in the most. <laughs> Well, all, right, all right, hold on. All right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm change. I'm gonna change because you, you do a cover. <laughs> the best athlete you trade. What's considered best? I, it, all of them. For all of them. I, I, I think. Look, it, I know it's, it's, it's all got body control. It's tyrant, all, tyrant, instinctual, long arms, athletic, Tyreek, explosive, Josh, elusive, Irv, strong, fast, can he can do whatever, freaking the high school. Now these high school ones, these might be the best ones y'all have never seen. From the Chris Henry Juniors to the eighth often to the Patrick Robinson Stop Junior. It. Stop it. Okay. You forgot what I this is what I do. But you, you forgot I trained the number one player in the NFL, so I know what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> it's the difference. It's you know the difference. I, I I see. I, it's a, I heard Chris Sun is is is, is Chris Henry Jr. Yeah, I heard Chris Henry Jr. like that. Uh, Patrick Robinson Jr. Like you gonna, gonna come back yeah. for the Saints? Yeah, yeah, his son. Yeah, his son. His son. Nice. He play everything. So like, nice. like, if they continue on the path, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, just think about it. I just could show you from I can name you five people that from that did this in high school for at least two years. They was top 100 in the nation. So if they continue on, so Chris Henry, I'm showing Chris Henry the same thing. I'm showing Tyreek Hill and Jamar Chase. What you think gonna happen? It's on the matter. Of time. I'm showing Patrick Robinson the same thing. I showed Tyron Matthew, Jamar Chase, and Tyron Mack, and Tyreek Hill. So what you think will happen? It's telling him right so now, Florida State. East can't start at, Jamar started at 16. Mm -hmm. Eric started at 16. I got Patrick Robinson. He started at 11. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm just watch God do his thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm and I'm not saying I'm not saying just like 
just throwing it out there. I'm watching them work. Watching them work. I'm really, I know they out there three days a week with me. I know I'm strengthening his hamstrings, his biceps, his triceps. I know he knows how to make this post, this fly, this out. I know no high school defender's gonna be the jam him on the line. I know if the defender plays him off, he's gonna turn and run because he think he's gonna run past him and then he's just gonna stop and they could throw him a spot pass. I know that defender not gonna be able to tackle him because he's not lifting like him. So I know the work that they put in there. You see what I'm saying? Just like with Ashad Clayton, Ashad Clayton had a thousand yards in four playoff games for Warren Easton. He mm -hmm. injured his, he injured, had a knee injury in the beginning of the season. But if I would have told you that then, you'd have been like, nah, man, he, ain't, man, he just come off a knee injury. But I know the work we doing after he come from practice. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's not the, not the fact that, oh man, it's, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work, you know what I'm saying? And, and I know that what we doing. So that's what I, I really want to, I'm open to your brother, use me, brother. Hey, <laughs> hey when, I tell you, when, when, when I tell you I don't turn down. Yeah, hey, use me, brother, I'm telling you, it's, it's for my whole mindset is for us to make your, and that's going to help y'all job. You know what I'm saying? Man, coach, you got this, that's five people going in the SEC. Coach, we need you. I ain't saying, look, man, tell them I did that. No. But you know, like we we family. We like family. this is what this for. This is what this for. You know what I'm saying? So like like what it's 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 you know, you gotta get past egos and stuff like that. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So nice. but like who else you got? Favorite place to visit. Man, my wife went to Jamaica. I like Jamaica. Mm. Jamaica. I, I like Miami too. I like I like the view. I like the water. I like water. You know what I'm saying? So I like I like to be high up and just look at the water. So Miami, those views, Jamaica though. I like, I like. Ain't gonna lie, I love me some South Beach. Go to Greece. Greece. Go to okay. Greece. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I've been, to, I've been. To, I love South Beach. South Beach. I just don't like getting on the planes all the time. The long planes. I was like, yeah. Teleport. If I could teleport, I'd be straight. <laughs> <laughs> if I could teleport, I'd be straight. Yeah. You know Say we going. Where we going? There? All right. Bet. One second. Mm -hmm. Let's see something else here. Favorite food. Watermelon. Ooh, fruits with the seeds. Gotta have the seeds. Healthy Nola, man. Shout out Healthy Nola, man. My dog mm -hmm. nice, man. D Lance, man. You gotta have the seeds. Yeah. Ain't nobody get we ain't about to get no, you know, no, no, no made water. The ones in them stores, bro. The ones in them stores, they they looking like gelatin and, and rubber and all this shit, man. I I I it ain't got no seeds, you can bring it back. Yeah, like the ones in them stores, eh? They seedless, seedless water, genetically modified and good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water, man. Oh man, that's what happened to your knee, man. Let me stop. <laughs> my head, my head, my head. Nah, nah, nah. nah. My grandpa for that, man. He's a, man. My grandpa used to used to used to stop in Marrero on the way home, yeah. and find the biggest watermelon that God has ever created. And bro, that's like all the way back to Kenton Heights yeah. every day of the summer, because yeah. that when we that when we was it over the summer. Uh -huh. And him and my grandma would take the smallest piece of that watermelon and tell me and my cousins that that watermelon had to be done before we went to bed every day. Mm. Till I was eleven years old, until I had to start yeah, the summer break. Yeah, y'all out of it. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to see no mess. But you don't know how it's helping you with it. That, that increases your hydration for your athletic performance. So, oh, the, so they hose pipe water. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? You trying to get to the to the top level, man? You see, you seen what Derrick Henry said, man? This diet and all this, and you see this man cut up on. That's Monday cool. Night Football. You need that's a fashion cool. coordinator. That's, cool. that's, that's cool. Fashion and I, coordinator. And I used to tackle the Brandon Jacobs in the hole. You know what I'm so, saying? So look, it, hey, it, 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 you, are, you good. I can't hose pipe base tool. Yeah, got gotcha. it. They can't do that. Nah, I, don't, I don't know what they got in these hose pipes. Nah, man. They, no, not, not chlorine. Not, <laughs> I, I straight go with my hand with water. I, I, I know that. You know what I'm saying? I don't not, know what they got in there. Not chlorine. In, it might be. They might be a vegan hose pipe out there. You never know. Boy, they got a vegan hose bite. Listen, if you were not training kids or training athletes, what will you be doing? Nursing on ER. Grey's Anatomy. Some helping people. I can't. I can't. I got to do something to help somebody. Like that. That's. I, I know I can. When I know I can make a change, like. It, it'll be it'll be something to make our people money to where they can put back into our communities because it's it's is I'm not into asking others for nothing and we can make our own and I know we can do it without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. So like 
that mission is I I really know we could do it. So I don't I don't know. I don't think of nothing. <laughs> I don't think of nothing. Nah, I, I get it. Yeah. That's like that's the calling. Yeah, cause like ain't no, it ain't nothing else into it. Brother, like that zero number is crucial. Right. That zero number is crucial. And if our generation don't show the next generation how to do it, like I start, I say, we gonna bring the real back. It's never really been real, for real. Like nobody, the ones before us was really supposed to be the ones to show us, but they didn't. So we had to really learn from experience and learn from trials and error and learn. Right. But we still here, that's the blessing, glory to God. So it ain't right. built it and made us stronger. So now being able to show these young people how not to waste no motion. Right. You know what I'm saying? We sh we literally showing you how, we we not telling you, oh yeah, bro, you and nothing wrong with our HBCUs. We, that's, that's it. But we do, as an athletic individual, we understand the difference is from, it's all about who walk in the room. If, if, if I just come in here and neither one of y'all knew me and I'd be like, hey man, I work with such and such, man, who is he? All right, we'll see about getting y'all here. But y'all seen already, yeah. so you know. So that's what walked me in the room. And it's the same thing on that level, but we have to understand the power that we have instead of just retreating to them, building us up. Right. Because at the end of the day, no matter if you are an athlete, if you are somebody, uh, uh, influential individual, you make it and you leave from here, your family's still here. They're still going through this. Yep. And so the reason you don't want to come back because it's, the situations are still in dire conditions. Correct. But we can really change that. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's really what I'm on. Like, like I, I can't, I can't even see nothing. You can't envision nothing. No, that, that's, 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 that's the plan. Though. Like, like we, we, we got to get it. We, 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 we got to get it. Ain't no, we not winning. We gonna win. We gonna win. We gonna win. Facts. For those of them who are out there who don't know how to reach you, you know, which, like how do, how do parents, athletes, yeah. get in touch with it, NXT Training? On social media, um, Instagram, NXT Training 7, um, same as Twitter and Facebook, YouTube, NXT Training. Um, I have, we have LinkedIn and things like that, that way you can pull up on, on those sites as well. Um, as well as our website, NXT Training website. And uh, if you want to email me, nxttraining7 at gmail.com. You know, um, or just see me around. And my phone number is uh, every code 985-612-7331. You know, just text me if if you call and I miss your call, text mm -hmm. me and I'll get back to you. You gotta get you a ticket tock, baby. A TikTok? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, the, the, the younger generation. Yeah. Young, younger generation. TikTok. I got it. I got it. So any, any, younger generation. any TikTok, any social media managers out there, man. Come <laughs> out there, man. And also, we're looking for tutors because uh we're um doing along with the athletics with the kids, we're looking for volunteer tutors or students who need hours and things like that to right. be able to get those hours and showing the young people, you know what I mean? So being able to help them give back in their community as well. You know, so uh and we got camps coming up for the for the for the youth um on different weekends in October and November as well as December. So coach, whenever you want me to come and uh do anything with your team, um, with your receivers, running backs, DBs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can help them in season, off season, help them make sure they're doing running cover three right, cover two right, cover one, showing them proper leverage, showing receivers how to get off the line, stack and stem, how to run proper routes, quarterbacks, how to stay on time. So whatever, whatever. Hey, same to you, man. If you, ever, if you ever you have some D linemen that, that you just like, man, head scratching the ball, just need some extra help, mm -hmm. let me know. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. That's a fact. Got to ask my wife though. Yeah, oh, absolutely. she ain't got no Delta convention, we'd be good. Absolutely, yeah. Got to take with the home team first. <laughs> got to take with the home team. But yeah, man. Oh, like, like, Y'all already know. Everybody, man. Y'all already know what it is. Listen, get locked in. Subscribe. FanView Podcast if you're on YouTube. FanView Podcast if you're on Facebook. FanView Podcast if you're on IG. FanView Podcast if you're on TikTok. And it's still FanView NOLA if you're on X, formerly known as Twitter. Y'all already know what it is. I'm that boy Fred. Coach Hurricane Hint. And we can't stop. 
We won't stop. No did it. <laughs> and we signing out, y'all. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> you did. Gotta, gotta throw that dope in y'all, right? <laughs>